Ah, good afternoon. So I'm here with my CP2.22 cow, and uh, you see I've got a red hawk red dot on it. Uh, this shoots very well with iron sights as well. I've had this pistol about three years at least, and she shoots really, really well. Um, I've just re zeroed the red dot 10 yards uh, using some super field to a 5.52 uh, millimeter head, uh, 15.9 grain. So I'm going to take seven shots freestanding at the target at 10 yards and then I'm going to zoom in on the target at 12 and a half metres and take another seven shots. Seven shot magazines, okay. So uh, obviously I'm going to pull the bolt back, pop the magazine in like so, it's got a little magnet on it that holds it in place. Okay, you can see it like that. Then you just push the bolt forward and ready to go. So first thing, seven shots freestanding. Quite windy today actually, so I'm not sure whether that's going to affect it too much. We have wind blowing down the side of the house, so it comes down the side of the house and round, round the shed. So here goes. Put the red dot on that. I can take my glasses off because I don't need that to see the red dot. And here goes. No, that was neat, you move. I'm just trying to keep this still today. Weed is not very good. Seven shot magazines. Right, that's the first, that's the seven shot. So what we'll do now, we'll zoom in on twelve and a half meters and try that again. Let's see how we do. This is a fresh CO2. We get about sixty shots from this. That's the final shot. Final section off. So what we'll do, we'll bring those targets up and we'll have a closer look at them. <coughs> so, as I say, I've got a hernia, so I do struggle with my breathing when I outstretch, so I was struggling to keep these, this pistol still. So this is the 10 yard target, 7 shots, you've got one down here, uh, there's got 3 here, there's 2 there and 1 here, so there's yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah. So that's 7, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, I think that's a genuine group, so that's where they would have been grouping. I definitely moved a lot for that one. I definitely, that was about the third shot I think I took. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. That's like, uh, what, a thumb? You know, by, by two, yeah, by these two, that's 500 thumb. Uh, obviously, same with this, this is a, this is a 12 and a half meter target. Again, pretty good. I, I just changed my grip a little bit. I moved my hands further forward to support the front of the pistol. 
So I had, had the hand on the grip and the the, the non non trigger hand further forward, just supported a bit more. And yeah, that's a, I'm really happy with that group. Obviously, I pulled a couple, but even then, that red dot looks like it's pretty much zeroed in. That's, that's pretty good. So this uh, this pistol is actually accurate. You know, obviously more accurate than me. Um, just to turn the red dot off, save the battery. That's it. So this is the Hawk red dot. Um, pretty good actually. Yeah, it's about how much they are now. I think I've paid about thirty for this. But yeah, you've got your elevation and your windage adjustment on the side. Your battery takes these uh, LR44s, I believe they are. I think there's three in there, and there's three brightness positions. So yeah, tiny little adjustments, and I managed to fine tune this target across from the left and zoom it into the centre. So at 12 and a half meters, I think that's pretty much bang on. I'm pretty pleased with that. So yeah, uh, I shall uh, be doing another sort of like a shooting review after this. Probably put some cans out and see how far we can actually hit things uh, using this red dot. But as I said, if you have fixed, this comes with fixed sights of this pistol, and also you can convert it to a, a rifle. Um, the reason I've got a P800 stock on because uh, I had a P800, <laughs> it wasn't very good. Um, in the end it broke, I didn't bother repairing it, and I just, I just took the sections off here. There's a cap that, where the mainspring is in the back, you can take it off and you can swap them across and then you put the actual uh, P800 grip onto the CP2. Obviously I've kept the CP2 grip and stock so I can convert this back to a rifle I want to, so yeah, but yeah, really nice. So yeah, uh, nice trigger, I polished the trigger up when I did the spring, I trimmed the spring back a few years back because um, as the valve loosened up it was getting, starting to get a little bit close to that uh, 6 foot pound limit. So I actually, um, there's a video I've got somewhere where I just basically took about half a coil off the spring and reduced it. And with these pellets, I shall show you the actual crony result. These are the crony results, that was, by the, that was rested or semi rested off a bag at 10 yards at seven shots with the super field I've just been shooting. So we know it's accurate, okay? Uh, these are the crony results, okay? Now, the thing about this crony result is that the spread was actually 12 FPS over the seven shots, okay? But there was only one shot that was particularly high, whether that was a, a light pellet or whether it was just the crony gave a, a false reading. But without that one shot, it was only a spread of four. So yeah, that's very good. Uh, average energy was 5.75 foot-pounds energy um, over the seven shots as an average, uh, 400, 404 uh, FPS. Okay, so yeah, uh, really nice pistol, uh, shoots really well, <coughs> excuse me, uh, first time I've had it out for about, ooh, about a year and a half, way, way before Covid, so yeah, I think this pistol may actually be four years old, at least, yeah. So I hope you like that little video, and I'll maybe do another video after this. Uh, if the weather holds out. Thanks for watching. Ah, good afternoon. So I'm back with my CP2, uh, 0.22 cal, and I've just done some videoing and I've uh, just decided how far out I can go with this pistol, you know, for plinking businesses. So I've got six cans at 20 meters in a pyramid, and I've got one can at 25 meters. I'm using uh, RDS Superfields, okay, which are 15.9 grain. 5.52 millimeter head. So we're going to zoom in on the cans. So they're 20 meters. This pyramid here, and you can see there's two. See the two at 25 meters stacked on top of each other. So we'll try and take these six out, and then try and take the top one out at uh, 25 meters. So it's a seven-shot magazine. There he goes. Free standing. The dot is on. Uh, I'll aim at the top of the can for the 20 meters. It's quite uh, bright down there with the sun in it, so it's quite difficult to see the red dot. Just aim it at the top of the can. I wish that moved. My fault. Oh, 
Yep. Right. So we'll save this final shot and we'll head out to the 25 meters. There they are. It's a long way out. Uh, aim point will be should be probably be way above the top can. And that's the top gun we want to hit. Uh, there he goes. Final shot. Ah, missed it. Yeah. Didn't think I would. The wind's actually blowing. You can see the flag down there. If I zoom out, you can see the, the, fl the flag is blowing quite a bit down there. So yeah, I wasn't too surprised that I missed the 25 meter one. And the reason why I missed the other one on the stack was purely me. I just, just moved that a little bit too much, like I said. But yeah, this accuracy of this, if I just take the mag empty magazine out, it's got a little stop on it, so obviously when it's empty you can't push the bolt forward, okay? Just fire the, fire the action off. Like that. So yeah, so that is the CP2, uh, and I've had it, like I said, at least four years, been very reliable. Uh, accurate as well, more accurate than me. I mean, I thought that was pretty good for me, for my hernia. But if you don't have any breathing issues, you know, to sort of keep things still, then I reckon you'd, you'd easily, got, easily got six. You may have even got that one out at 25 meters, you know. So yeah, the red dot's pretty much zeroed. I'm pretty happy with that. But this is very good with iron sights as well, if you can see them. So hope you like the little video. Thanks for watching.